Amusement parks with a theme have certainly become the trend. Each weekend, thousands of families spend thousands of dollars at places such as Old Sydney Town, the Gold Coast Sea World or Dream World. And now a new tourist attraction has sprung up just south of the Gold Coast tourist strip but in new, northern New South Wales. And as Brian Anderson reports, this really is a world of difference. It's a fair dinkum enough little corner of Australia, but then again it is different. A rich river valley west of Mwilumbar in northern New South Wales. Peaceful, quiet, and home to a people who are still the object of curiosity wherever they go. Here's one place that booze is banned. There's no sex on the side, no eating of meat, no gambling allowed. A society that claims a divorce rate of only two or three percent. A place that's being helped along with a rather solid dose of good old fashioned capitalism. The Gold Coast has its Dream World and Sea World, now Northern New South Wales has its Hari Krishna World. 400 hectares of prime Aussie countryside that the Krishnas are developing as a tourist trap. It's their rural retreat as well, a six million dollar development that already has its own school and housing estate, together with a marble temple, restaurant, souvenir shop and display of Australian native birds to keep the customers coming in. Although, talk to the tourists and you'll find that the Hari Krishnas themselves are the main attraction. We found it very interesting. It's the first time we've ever come well, to We brought 35 people and we offered them the same deal for the same price uh, to, to come to here or to get off at the Moolambar over cell. <laughs> and they chose to come here. There was only two got off. So they chose this instead of yes. the poker machine? Yes, yes, yes. 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 That's well, saying that's something. The Hari Krishnas certainly don't hide away from the outside world. Their farm is open to visitors at any time, but this was advertised as a festival day and sold to all comers like any other tourist attraction. A sort of meet us down on the farm and see what we're all about day. Can any ladies that you see that have a red dot on their forehead, they're married. And any ladies that don't have a red dot on their forehead, they're single. So it's like when you go to the army, you can see, well, he's got three stripes, he's a sergeant. So you can yeah. tell I'm married. You're married. Right, yes. I have a family. My wife's around here somewhere, and my daughter. And those men that have the, the orange robes, they're not married. They're Australians, but they follow an Indian religion and lifestyle that's thousands of years old. In the early days, they were ostracised or ignored by the general community. But it seems that after a quarter of a century, they're here to stay. I didn't know very much at all, except that, uh, well, obviously that they were vegetarian and that they had a rather severe uh, lifestyle. Shirley Craig is a Hare Krishna grandma. She doesn't follow their religion herself, but two daughters and five grandchildren live here at Hare Krishna World. When they come home to stay with us, they mix with so many other children. It doesn't seem to be any problem for them. They, they don't feel a part of a different world? No, no. They, it doesn't faze them a little bit. Sometimes you can see other people uh, look at their, um, their hair. You know, have, they have a the little piece of hair at the back. Yeah, but, uh, no, they just seem to wait until I just can't think of the word, but I know that they're very, very at ease with everybody. The feature event of the day that most people were waiting for a genuine, live before your very own eyes, Hari Krishna wedding. Colourful, noisy, and it seemed a real crowd pleaser. But did the Krishnas win any hearts? And just what chance do they have of turning their devotional Disneyland into a fully-fledged tourist attraction? Has it changed your idea of what sort of people they are? No, I doubt not. I don't think so. So what sort of people do you think they are? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 better be careful what I'm saying here, don't I? No, I, think they're, they're, I think they're righteous people. If I'd come again. You would. And the children have enjoyed it, so... So they've won a few hearts, have they? Oh, I think so. <laughs> Just as people. So I was expecting, like, more Christianity or more... Uh, not so happy one. I, I reckon they are quite happy people. Christians, they're not. Happy, it certainly seems so. Their lifestyle is as strict as that inside any monastery, yet it's open to the outside world at the same time. And provided they don't run short of people to undergo their very public wedding ceremonies, Hare Krishna World could well become a popular and profitable tourist destination.
Hare Krishnas, showing uh, Queenslanders what we're like uh, over the border in New South Wales. We'll take a short break and be back with a story that'll warm your hearts, I promise you that, even on this bleak and windy evening.